The Sunday School lesson for January 1st, 2023 is Blessing of Reconciliations. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 21. To the viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. I am Audrey, and on this channel, you will get a glimpse of events that take place before each Sunday school lesson. The agenda is as follows. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much in advance for your support. The backstory, let's begin. Awaiting a new body. Paul uses various metaphors to contrast the temporary with the eternal in this letter. He draws on biblical imagery of a tent. The tent of meeting or the tabernacle was a movable tent that was eventually replaced by the temple. This metaphor emphasizes the impermanent nature of our bodies. Paul did not fear the destruction of the earthly tent of his physical body because he had assurance of another building, a permanent structure. It is in heaven. Awaiting a new body. Another metaphor for the human body is that of clothing, often conveyed with the phrase put on. In this world, we put on the armor of light. Romans 13 and 12. We are clothed with Christ in baptism. Galatians chapter 3 verse 27. We put on the new self and put on the full armor of God. Ephesians chapter 4 and 24. We put on the new self as we put on virtues that culminate in love. Colossians chapter 3 verses 10 through 14. In the next world, we are given resurrection bodies. We clothe ourselves with the imperishable and with immortality. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 53. Walk by faith, not by sight. Our lives must be controlled by the things we know to be true in a sense of faith that is based on evidence. Paul expresses this in one of the greatest statements of the Christian life, we must live by faith, not by sight. Blessing of Reconciliation, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 21. Time, probably A.D. 55, place from Macedonia. Golden text, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Verse 12, for we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on your behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them with glory in appearance and not in heart. Verse 13, for whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. Verses 14 through 15, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge, and that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Verse 16, Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, 
though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Verse 18, And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 19, To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Verse 20, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Verse 21, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. A brief summary. We are confident that God's word gives us the truth about death and beyond. And God's spirit guarantees that his children will go to heaven. We claim this by faith and walk with confidence and what peace it gives us. We claim to please him. Paul's spiritual motivations for service include the judgment seat of Christ, verses 9 through 11, the love of Christ, verses 12 through 16, the power of the gospel, verse 17, and the commission of the Lord, verses 18 through 21. What motivates you to do his will? Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.